Hello, welcome to my retro game con 2019 pickups that I got. Went to retro game con in Syracuse, New York. So this is the weekend pass. Cool. Um, yeah, very fun convention. It gets better every year. Love it. Um, I picked up some games off of my list. You know, um, yeah, Shadow Lords 2. I hate it when they put the freaking sticker right on top. That just makes me mad. Oh well, can't do anything about it, but it's the second Shadow Hearts, um, PlayStation 2. It's a good, good game. Um, I think Yatsunori Mishida did the soundtrack for like the first two games, I think. He worked on Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo, so very cool soundtrack. And I knocked off another PS1 RPG. Breath of Fire 4, so very awesome. Um, very awesome find. Good condition, good price. Um, has the manual, so it's all good. But cool stuff. And then, I mean, that was a game I was going to get eventually. I mean, I've been whatever. Um, was waiting, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, then I picked up Breath of Fire 3. So, good price. Has the manual, everything. Very cool. Yeah, so I was very excited. I was able to knock off games off my list. I'm trying to get, like, Trying to get like every single North American RPG for the PlayStation, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, Persona, yeah, it depends. It's got to be, it's got the manual and maybe the price is right, maybe, but that's like a 200 hour game. I saw it at Retro Game Con, but no manual, and they were still charging about 200 for it, the first Persona. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a work in progress. I mean, it would be cool if I got it, but we'll see. <laughs> but it's a, it's a good chunk out of the list. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. When you, when you want to collect, like, retro games, yeah, it's, it's, breaks your bank. It gets even worse if you want to collect Neo Geo. Those stuff costs like lots of more money. Like like $200 or more just for the, a Neo Geo game. Yeah. And then Sega Saturn. Yeah. There's a lot of games. Especially if you count the North American and then Sega Saturn did awesome in Japan, so there was just more games over there, and yeah, it's another story, it's basically, you are chewing at your wallet if you're collecting Sega Saturn, but anyways, the next game I was very excited, because I was about to pick it up eventually, it's Dragon Quest 7, but I guess there must have been some copyright issue i don't know what happened why you know they they called it dragon warrior you know the first three games were on nes i did see the fourth one and it was sealed i don't think it was sealed but it was in like one of those like sleeves that you put your games in it was like two hundred dollars. I was like, "That's crazy!" But it was Dragon Warrior Four on the NES, so I mean, it would have been cool. But yeah, so I was very excited to see Dragon Warrior Seven, Dragon Quest Seven on the PlayStation. It on the PlayStation. It was released, re-released on the 3DS. So I mean, I 
I don't know if there's any differences if it's the same or not. I think I had it, but I think I traded it in or something. I can't remember. So, and then the best pickup ever because it's my favorite Zelda game of all time. It's the one that I grew up with. Um, best cover art manual everything about it and so it's basically just gonna take me back to being a kid because i played the heck out of it um, i bought legend of zelda a link to the past sealed guy gave me a good deal um it was like 75 but good deal um so yeah i'm very excited I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to unbox it. I mean, I kind of wanted to keep it in there, but then maybe I may just unbox it in another video or something just because you'll see all that nostalgia running through. But, like, yeah, it's one of my favorite all-time Zelda games. It beats out uh, Orchard of Time, and you can argue with me. But that's just my opinion. I mean, this game was great. Great music by Koji Kondo. Awesome soundtrack. So, so yeah, that was it for my Retro Game Con pickups of 2019. I mean, I've been going to the con in Syracuse since 2015. It gets better every year and really good um, guests and stuff. And... It was cool they got the whole convention center, so it was nice. You know, not everything was, like, cramped in there and stuff. But, anyways, the Samurai Tacos signing off. Have a good night. Bye-bye.